is up guys welcome back to another episode of taxation guys and um i, I just want to before i jump in a very quick intro lang i just want to acknowledge our own for our discussion mr Mac rex bangawai ito yung uh, book na ginagamit namin yeah uh, business and transfer taxation okay so thank you so much and sa author ng libro na to kay mr rex bangawai bago lang kayo sa channel na to, you can buy this, okay? Online, Shopee, or anywhere na ano, bookstore. Okay, guys? And also, for this uh, module, uh, I would like to acknowledge also the effort, ano, ni Attorney Shosan. Ayan, shout out, sir. Uh, thank you so much for the help. So, for compi- compiling no, this uh, module, and also kay uh, future attorney uh, Jessica, Okay, have a So, Pam, thank you so much. Um, yeah, uh, they are so generous to give this uh, resources. Sa akin, especially, I'm working. Okay, eight to six. Then, pagkagabi, uh, ito, we do this some teaching. And guys, na notice nyo, medyo mellow lang yung bosses ko kasi it's exactly 1.23 a.m. So, tulog na yung <laughs> nasa alibot natin. But, uh, um, we will try to uh, tawag dito, explain. Okay? Nang malinaw, um, mas, siguro mas mababaw na explanation, ano, yung ano natin, yung topic tonight. Okay? So, sige, wala nang paligul-ligul pa. Let's uh, jump in. Hopefully, you, you had your dinner, you have some water, hydrate yourself yeah and i'm so excited for this uh, series <laughs> okay for the series to go natin about um this is not gross estate this is gross estate yeah <laughs> okay so move on na tayo no sa mga dad jokes natin yeah so yeah to start with uh, gross estate and the composition yeah no very quick review lang um Ayan. Consists of all properties ng namatay. Sabi natin, descendant, di ba, yung namatay. Tangible or intangible. Nakikita or hindi makita or mahawakan. Di ba? Real or personal. And wherever separated at the point of death. So, yan yung pinaka-basic, ano niya, yung mga composition or ano nagko-consist ng process state natin. In the case naman, ito, NRA, or non-resident alien descendant. May exemption lang siya. Okay? Except intangible, intangible personal property when the reciprocity rule up, applies. Ayan. Very, ano lang, very quick lang, no? We, we prepared this uh, table and I know parang nasa handouts din natin sa libro. Pag citizen ka nga, lahat, okay, lahat nakacheck. So, lahat ng property mo, taxable siya. Okay? yung gross estate. Pag resident alien ka naman, okay, lahat din. Okay, kasi parang um, tweeted sa'yo, parang citizen ka na rin ng Philippines. Resident alien. Okay? Yung unique lang dito, I think, yung NRA or non-resident alien. Okay? Pag sinabi natin NRA, guys, uh, short lang siya for, ano ha, um, shortcut lang for non-resident alien. Okay? Ang yung exception dito, yung without. Yan, pag real property within the Philippines lang. Tama, yung taxable. Pag nasa labas, pag real property siya, hindi na siya taxable, yung gross estate niya. Pag tangible naman, personal property. Yan. Yung within the Philippines lang. Okay, yung reciprocity, yung sinasabi natin, yung intangible personal property. Yan. In general, within the Philippines, taxable siya, okay? Unless, okay, may exemption siya if there is a reciprocity, okay? Sa mga problems natin, um, in general, within the Philippines, pag NRA, taxable. Except, okay, if there is reciprocity. Nakalagay din yan, guys, sa, ano, sa mga questions natin, mga problem. Okay? Yan. Ano daw yung sinasabi ng intangible personal property. Okay? Intangible personal property, 
incorporeal okay property which do not have any physical form okay wala siyang physical form hindi mo siya makita by your um, physical eyes but represents rights and privileges okay rights and privileges siya wala example niyan yung bank deposits diba hindi mo naman makikita yung bank deposits diba nasa ano lang yan may meron kang bank book okay pero yung money mismo hindi mo naman makikita yung deposits trademarks ayan shares of stocks patents copyrights bonds notes okay interest in partnership etc so yan so yan yung pala yung definition ng intangible personal property okay so dito sa table na to actually pinapakita lang na like example siya ng intangible personal property no intangible asset kung nasa ano natin uh, balance sheet tama okay yung situs meaning yung place or location no yung site okay pag receivable promissory note ito yung ano niya residence of the debtor okay bank deposit yung situs niya location of the bank nandoon sa bank yung bank deposit syempre di ba Uh, other intangible properties. Ayan, mga franchise. Ayan. So, yung, I think, uh, gusto ko lang i-highlight dito yung within the Philippines, yung domestic corporation, yung under sa shares of stocks natin. Pag domestic nga corporation within the Philippines, pag foreign, ayan. Ito yung highlight natin, ha? If, uh, greater or equal, okay, 85% of the business is in the Philippines. Yan. Within the Philippines. So, yan yung uh, nagiging, ano siya, diba? Foreign corporation. If um, greater than or equal 85% of the business is in the Philippines. Yan. So, if shares are have acquired a business situs in the Philippines. So, yan yung site niya. Tama? So, nagiging um, taxable siya. Okay? Based dito sa... Ayan. So, kuha ba guys? So, very ano lang siya. Very basic lang. Ayan yung mga numbers na kailangan mo tandaan. 85%. Ayan. Pag uh, foreign corporation. Okay? Ayan. Properties included in the gross estate of the of a descendant. Ano daw yung mga properties na kasama doon sa gross estate na uh, namatay or na yung descendant? Okay? Properties, rights, interest which the descendant owns at the time of his death. Ayan. At the time of his death. Ito daw, properties owned by the descendant and physical person in his estate at the time of death. Okay, yan yung mga properties daw na huwag mamayari yung namatay and physically present in his estate. Okay? Interest, whether legal or beneficial, in property owned or possessed by the descendant at the time of uh, death. Example yan, yung usufractuary rights, leasehold rights. Ayan. Yan yung mga uh, example, okay? Na included sa gross estate. Well, During the exam, I think um, yung concern lang dyan kung is it yung dalawa given dun sa problem. Okay? Properties and interest. And also, we have syempre yung taxable transfers. No? Under dito pa rin sa properties included in the gross estate. Number three, yung mga taxable transfer. Okay? Made during his lifetime but are in the nature of testamentary disposition. So, naalala nyo yung testamentary or uh, testate, no? May ano talaga siya. Di ba? Parang meron isa yung legal naman in testate, no? The previous module natin. Mortis causa in substance. Okay. Yeah. Though he has transferred the property during his lifetime, he remains pinanaspan niya daw niya yung yung property na yun, pero he remains in control. Ayan. I like yung control of the property and the transfer is intended to take effect only at or after his 
death. So, may mga transfer pala na nagiging taxable kasi tulad yan, yung mortis causa in substance natin, testamentary dispositions na at the time of death, okay, that's the time palang matatransfer, malilipat yung property. Okay? That's why nagiging taxable siya. Okay? Ginawa siya habang buhay pa siya. Okay? Pero yung effectivity is after, okay, at the time of his death ng decedent. Okay? So, under the taxable transfers natin, merong, I think, tatlo, no? A, B, C, D, apat, lima. Actually, madami siya, no? Anim. Ayan, there are six, okay? Under the taxable transfer, okay? Ano daw yung mga taxable transfer, guys? Under uh, this uh, module, no? Letter A. Isa-isayin natin para mas um, malinaw, ano? Mas mabilis yung pag-absorb natin. In this case. Ayan. Transfers in contemplation of death. So, patulong tayo ng definition ng contemplation. Tesaurus, wala, no? So, sige. Kung wala siyang definition, punta tayo dito sa baba. Transfer is impelled by the thought of death. So, ano yung impelled? Wala rin siya. <laughs> impelled. Okay, these transfers or this transfer intervivos are usually made by the descendant in a stage of terminal. Ayan. So, parang feeling niya makamatay na siya, okay, yung descendant, or under belief of imminent. Very, ano na talaga, parang more than 50-50 na yung chance, okay, na makasurvive. Analogous to testamentary dispositions, transfer in contemplation of death, are treated by the tax law as donation. Yeah, donation mortis causa. Subject to estate tax, not to donor's tax. Diba? Okay. Very quick review lang. Donor's tax, ginagawa yun pag buhay pa, diba? Yung nag-donate. Okay. Dino- oh, to- do-donate ko to yung property ko sa anak ko. Uh, effective um, August 3, 2020. Okay? Ngayon, yung transfers in contemplation of death. Okay? Hindi pa siya namatay. Pero sabi natin, di ba, in general rule, yung estate tax, papatak lang yan at the time of death. Okay? Pero may sinasabi dito na buhay pa siya, pero hindi, ano na, parang nasa terminal illness na siya or malapit na sa imminent death, meaning hindi na talaga may wasan. Parang nasa ano na 90% na okay na mamamatay siya. So sabi ng tax law natin, ano na yan, donation mortis causa. Okay, tinitreat na siya na parang patay na rin siya, no? Wala na siyang capacity okay, to donate or uh, magbayad pa ng donor tax. So, na, yeah, I think that's the simple uh, explanation about transfer in contemplation of death. Okay? Example niyan, Yan. Donation mortis causa. Donation which which takes effect upon death of the donor and therefore partakes of the nature of a testamentary yan. disposition. Okay. Ano daw yung requirement under this uh, definition? Transfers in contemplation of death. Yan. No transfer daw of title or ownership to the done or to be done siguro to no? the donor retains ownership ayan yung donor daw retains ownership and remains in full control during his life then, habang buhay pa siya okay siya pa rin yung uh, in full, full control the transfer is revocable ayan by donor at will during his lifetime ayan. the transfer is void if done okay if the done I think tama yung nasa taas. Double E yata to, ano? Doni. Okay? Doni. Tama? Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. 
Okay. Donny, di ba yung siya yung tumanggap? Okay? The transfer is void if the Donny dies first. So, walang transfer doon kung yung tumanggap o yung, di ba yung donor yung nandonate? Tapos yung Donny yung um, tumanggap, ano? Okay. So, yan lang yun. Donation Mortis Causa. Okay. Revocable transfer. Di ba may sinabi siya dito? The transfer is revocable by donor at will during his lifetime. Pag donation mortis causa, example, parang bumalik yung health niya. Okay? Yung descendant supposed to be mamamatay na siya tapos naka-recover. Pwede niyong ma-revoke yung donation mortis causa. Okay? Letter B, revocable transfer. Ayan. Ano daw yung revocable? Meaning, pwede niyang bawiin. Okay? Revocable siya. Ha? Pwede siyang bawiin. Revocable. Involve uh, transfers of possession over property during lifetime. Ayan, of the descendant. But not transfer of, wala daw transfer ng ownership over said property. Okay? Walang transfer of ownership kasi buhay pa yun. Tama? Ayan. At the point of death, the descendant ayan, owns the property. Hence, it must be included. Ayan. It must be included as part of his gross estate. Since the same part is part of his donation, mortis causa. So, kung sa problem nakalagay, donation mortis causa yung amount. So, property part siya ng gross estate okay, na itatax ni BIR. The transferor, or yun yung transfer, and reserves the power to alter, to amend, revoke, or terminate the enjoyment of the property by the transferee yung tumanggap. Or where such power is relinquished, or uh, natanggal, okay, yung power, in contemplation of descendants death. Okay, ito rin isang catch na kailangan natin tandaan, whether or not such power is exercised during his uh, lifetime when they said then. If not exercised during lifetime, okay, it is considered exer- exercise at the time of death. So, hindi raw kailang in-exercise niya during lifetime yung power na yun. Okay? Yan. So, lahat ng revocable champ transfer daw, kasama yan doon sa and mga transfer tran, uh, taxable transfers natin or tawag dyan mortis causa in substance because naalala nyo yung sa accounting principles natin substance over form so substance substance siya parang donation mortis causa siya pero yung form niya kasi syempre buhay pa kasi yung descendant pero nasa imminent death so kaya sinabi Mortis causa in substance, okay? Ayan, we also discuss yung revocable transfers, no? Ayan. We move forward kay ano, letter C. Ano daw yung sinasabi sa letter C? Transfer with retention or reservation of certain rights over the income or enjoyment of the property transfer. Okay? Yan. Highlight ko yung word na retention and reservation. Transfer nga siya. Okay? May transfer na nangyari. May taxable transfer. Pero, nire-reserve or nire-retain. Okay? Yung certain rights na kumbaga, okay, sige, transfer natin yung property pero habang buhay pa ako, okay, akin pa yung, ano, may rights pa ako dyan over the income. Okay, or yung enjoyment ng property. Okay? Yung transferor daw, yan, reserves his right to the income of the... Yan. Nakareserve pa rin yung right. Okay? May right pa rin yung transfer. Okay? Until his death. Habang buhay pa siya, siya pa rin yung may power doon. Okay? May right pa rin siya doon. Okay? Transferor. Ayan. Reserves his right to the possession or enjoyment. Ayan, inulit yung definition, ano? So, meaning, transfer ko na, okay? Habang buhay pa ako, so hindi pa tawag sa'yo descendant, okay? Tawag sa'yo transferor, okay? 
Tinansfer ko, pero habang buhay pa ako, akin pa rin. May right pa rin ako doon. Tama? Okay. Sige. Para to illustrate itong uh, part na to, si Mr. Osamis daw, tinansfer uh, yung agricultural land doon sa anak niya. Okay? In favor of his son. He, however, reserved for himself the enjoyment of a quarter of the land until his death. So, the land was worth, excuse me, 2 million pesos. Okay? Sabi sa, you know, quarter. Quarter, di ba? That's uh, one-fourth, no? So, in the computation, magkano yung uh, nireserve ni Mr. Osamis? Okay? 500,000. Yan lang yung um, magiging part ng gross estate niya. Yung 500,000. Not the whole 2 million. Okay? Kasi transfer niya na eh. So, yung nireserve niya lang na uh, part or percentage. Okay? So, nakastate niya sa problem. So, you just need to multiply it doon sa kung magkano yung uh, gross. Okay? So, yung gross estate niya, 500,000. That's 2 million. Sabi sa problem quarter, so, times mo lang. Okay? Um, 25% or uh, times one-fourth. Ayan. Moving forward, ayan, letter D, under sa taxable transfer natin. Okay? Property passing under a general appoint, a uh, general power of appointment. Okay? Um, or also known as GPA. Okay? General power of appointment. Yung isa niyan, mamaya i-discuss natin, ano, um, may another, ano yan eh, uh, other term, okay, I think nasa baba pa, so medyo mahaba ba pang discussion, ano, pero madali lang naman, okay, madali lang siya, okay, general power of appointment, ano daw yan, so the descendant is the donor, of course, di ba, yung descendant yung donor, the appointed property yan, comes from a donor. Okay? Ulit. The descendant o yung uh, namatay is the donee. Yung tatanggap. Okay? Kasi yung um, nagbibigay, di ba, donor. Okay? This time, under the GPA, yung descendant is the donee. So, I think ito yung parang bago, no? The appointed property okay, comes from a donor of the power which with a GPA for the donee. Okay? Donee of the power. Meaning, hindi yan kapangyari yan or ano ha? Um, like superman na ano, special power. Kundi, I think ito yung power na sinasabi dito, di ba, sa taas. General power of appointment. The donee is Authorized to dispose. Yan. Yung donee daw, authorized siya to dispose yung property by exercising his power of appointment in designating. Yan. Uh, bold dito yung any person. Okay? So, under the GPA, General Power of Appointment, any person pwedeng i-designate. Uh, okay? I-designate ni, no? Ni donee. Okay? Which is siya yung descendant. Okay? Who shall possess or enjoy the property and or its income. Okay? The GPA makes the appointed property for all the purposes. Okay? For all purposes. The property of the donee. So, naging property siya ng donee pag under sa GPA. General power of appointment. Okay? So, any person pwede niyang i-appoint. Okay? Who shall possess? Example, i-appoint ko si ganito. Magiging ano siya. Um, Kung baga siya yung authorized to dispose. Ayan. Siya yung magiging authorized to dispose. Okay? Ng property. Okay? Sige. Para mas clear, meron tayong uh, short uh, illustration. Don Kulot. Ayan. Shout out sa mga kulot dyan. Guys, guys, sino mga kulot dyan sa ano, classmates nyo? Okay? Sure, ako kulot. Mer merong 5 points. 
may five points kayo sa first semester. <laughs> okay. First semester. Okay. Sa tax 42, syempre hindi na, no? Kasi, uh, magpapas naman kayo sa subject ko. <laughs> syempre naman. Okay. Don Colot died in his will. Okay. He gave Mama Sang. Okay. Si Mama Sang a house and lot. Okay. With the right to designate the power to whomever uh, heir she wants. Okay. Mama Sang eventually died and appointed Bebe. Okay. Ang cute ng mga names ng example natin. Ano? Don Kulot and Mama Sang and Bebe as heir to the property. Okay. So, si Don Kulot namatay. In his will, pinamanan niya doon kay Mama Sang yung house and lot. Okay? With the right to designate by whomever she wants. Okay? Ngayon, inappoint ni Mama Sang si Bebe. Okay? As heir to the property. Tapos namatay si Mama Sang. Ngayon, si Mama Sang, okay, has a general power. Bakit nasabing may general power si Mama Sang? Because, syempre, siya yung na binigyan ni Don Colot before siya namatay. Okay? Or nakalagay dun sa will. Okay? Na nibigay ko yung house and lot kay Mama Sam. Ngayon, namatay si Mama Sam. Ano yung power na i-exercise niya? General power of uh, appointment or general power over the property. The same shall be included in her gross estate. Okay? If Mama Sang has a limited, ayan, pag limited naman daw yung power niya, like it was specifically written in the will of Don Colot, okay, that the house and lot should be given to Toto, okay? the same shall not be included in Mama Sang's gross estate. Ayan. So, sa madaling salita, meron guys, sinasabi tayo na general power and meron sinasabing limited power. Okay? Pag limited meaning, nakalagay doon sa will ni Don Colot. Okay? Na, oh, Mama Sang, pag uh, itong house in black, bibigay ko sa'yo, pero nakalagay doon na, uh, example, like it was specifically written in the will of Don Colot, that the house and lot should be given to Toto. Yan. Bibigay pala kay Toto. So, meron siyang limited power. Okay? Kasi wala siyang Uh, naka-specify na power talaga like, like dun sa first uh, scenario natin. Therefore, hindi siya magiging part okay, shall not be included and in Mama Sang's gross estate. So guys, malina ba? Yung simple el- illustration natin. It's just a matter of understanding ano ba yung power ni Mama Sang. Okay? Or general power ba? Or is it a limited power? Okay? Second to the last, transfer for insufficient, okay? Insufficient consideration. Transfer mo, pero hindi sapat yung consideration na natanggap, okay? So, ano tawag doon? In all the trans- taxable transfers above, if the transfer is a bona fide, okay? Bona fide sale. Hindi na ako babalik doon sa bona kid joke, ha? Kasi may nilalangaw tayo doon, okay? For adequate and full consideration in money or money's worth, no value shall be included in the gross estate. Yan, highlight natin. Okay, in general guys, ha? Pag transfer for insufficient consideration or yung transfer mo, okay? Full cons- consideration of money, no value, ayan. From A to A, B, C, D, okay? Yan yung mga taxable transfers. If the transfer is bona fide sale for adequate, yeah, kumbinenta mo siya for adequate and full consideration, meaning sufficient, okay? In money or money's worth, no value shall be included in the gross estate. However, dito na papasok yung insufficient. So, ito, nasa tas sufficient yan or uh, adequate or full consideration. So, sabi, hindi siya 
kasama sa gross mistake ama kung bona fide sale kasi binenta mo siya di ba may natanggap ka yung natanggap mo yun yung magiging included do sa gross mistake mo ngayon sabi ng law may however no yeah. if the transfer is not a bona fide okay if uh, the transfer is not a bona fide sale for an adequate or meaning uh, insufficient siya So, ano pa, paano magdetermine ng insufficient? Okay, consideration. There shall be included in the gross estate the excess of the, ano yung F&B? Fair market value of the property at the time of death over the consideration received by the sedent. So, highlight natin. If may excess, okay, excess yung fair market value, okay, at the time of death, Okay, nang decedent over the value of the consideration, okay, included in the gross estate, yung excess, okay, yung excess, example yung decedent, may binentang house and lot, okay, may natanggap siya, yung worth ng house and lot, yung fair market values, so, lagay natin 2 million, okay, yun yung natanggap niya, consideration received, or yung example money, It's only 1.5. Di ba may excess siya? Okay? Included doon yung sa gross estate niya, yung difference. Okay? Kasi sabi dito, yung ma-minus mo yun, di ba? Ma-minus natin. So, meaning, excess of the fair market value of the property at the time of death. Hindi doon sa at the time of sale. Okay? So, ito nagiging trick din yan minsan sa exam, ano? At the time of death na fair market value. Okay? Another one. Okay? Another one na uh, however. No? Ito yung exemption sa transfer for insufficient consideration. Okay? If transfer is fictitious. Ano yung sabihin, sir, ng, ano, ng uh, fictitious? Parang kaduda-duda. Okay? Parang ano to, ah, fabricated. Ah, or hindi to ano ah, hindi parang hindi legit ah, parang scam to ah, no? So, yan yung fictitious, no? The total value of the property at the time of death shall be included. So, yan lang siya. Sa number one, excess. Okay? Yung number two naman, total. So, wala kang ma-minus dyan na um, consideration. Kung, kung baga sa number two, as if kung fictitious yung transfer, there's no transfer sa mata ng law natin. Kasi fictitious siya eh. Kumbaga parang going towards ano siya, uh, invalid transfer. Tama? So that's uh, that's about for ano, transfer for insufficient consideration. Okay. How about sa proceeds of life insurance? Proceeds. Okay? Proceeds of life insurance. Okay? taken out by the seven upon his own life shall be included. Highlight ko yung included. Di ba pag namatay yung tao, pag may, na, um, may binabayaran siyang monthly na premium or annual for that uh, life insurance, no? Yung proceeds doon, pagka at the time of death, may matatanggap yung family na naiwan ng yung value ng life insurance. Kasi nakalagay naman dyan sa insurance policy. At the time of death or after his death, itong value na ito yung mabupunta dun sa family. So yung proceeds na yun, okay? yung proceeds shall be included doon sa gross estate niya. Okay? His estate, his executor or administrator is the beneficiary whether or not the designation of the beneficiary is revocable. Sa so, mandiling salita, okay, his estate, his executor, is the beneficiary. Sino yung beneficiary ng life insurance? So, yan, yung tatlo. Okay, his estate, his executor, or administrator. Siya yung magiging beneficiary. Whether or not the designation of the beneficiary is kahit ano, kahit nakalagay pa na revocable. 
kahit nakalagay pa na um, pwedeng palitan. Okay? Yung nakalagay doon sa beneficiaries. Okay? The beneficiary is any other person, okay? but the descendant retains the power to revoke. Habang buhay pa yung ano, diba? Habang buhay pa yung um, descendant, okay? So, syempre, the power to revoke the designation, nandun pa rin sa kanya. Okay? Hindi pa rin nila tatanggal. Okay? Just a note lang, when designation of the beneficiary is not clear, it is presumed to be revocable. Ayan. Kung wala daw na-designate si uh, descendant, no? Before siya namatay. So, kung hindi daw clear, kung sino yung na-designate na dun sa insurance policy, no? So, it is presumed to be revocable. Proceeds of life insurance are not included. Highlight natin. Anong mga case, okay, na hindi kasama yung gross, uh, sa gross estate yung life insurance ng mga proceeds, okay? If daw, when, number one, beneficiary is other than the estate, his executor or administrator and the designation is, nasa taas kasi nakalagay, revocable. Ngayon, is irrevocable. So, hindi siya kasama dun sa gross estate. Okay? Hindi siya nasasama dun sa gross estate. Pag irrevocable yung designation. Proceeds of group, uh, group insurance policy. Group. Okay? Proceeds of a group insurance policy. Kasi yung group insurance policy, guys, ano yan eh, parang uh, ito, parang uh, part niyan life insurance or merong part dyan na uh, non-life insurance. So, once may proceeds daw, hindi yun kasama din sa gross estate. So, it might be siguro yung, yung thought ng law natin is in general, mas malaki yung insurance doon sa real properties, yung sa mga buildings, fire, di ba? Unlike sa mga life insurance, minor ano siya, no? kung i-ratio and proportion mo siya. So, sabi dito, pag proceeds of a group insurance policy, hindi na siya doon kasama sa gross estate ng December. Okay. Ano pa yung hindi included sa gross estate? Benefits from GSIS, SSS, ayan, accruing by reason of death. So, hindi, hindi siya doon kasama sa gross estate natin. Okay. okay, next topic natin. Claims against insolvent person. Okay. Ano yung insolvent? Ah, sir, yan yung ano, yung gumagamit ng, hindi gumagamit ng solvent. Then, no? Yung sa insolvent dito, parang uh, walang siyang capacity to pay. Okay? Claims against insolvent persons. Okay, meron kasing namamatay na, ano, na mga tao, tapos wala lang silang capacity to pay. Okay? So, walang kahabulin yung example, yung banko, no? may receivable doon sa namatay. Wala, wala na, di ba? Hindi naman sila makahabul doon, except, no? And receivable due from persons who are insolvent. Okay? Shall be included in the gross estate at its full amount. Ayan. But that deduction is taken from the uncollectable portion. Ayan. So, meron din tayong ano, meron din tayong criteria na yung claims against insolvent persons, okay? Sabi, kasama daw yan sa gross estate, okay? Shall be included. Yun. And then, yung bad debt deduction, di ba meron tayong mga allowance for bad debts, yan. Pero syempre, Kin- uh, kinukuha yun sa mga uncollectable portion. So, hindi siya doon kasama. No? Yan. Yung bad debt. So, number two, conjugal community properties if descendant was married. Ano daw yung conjugal community properties? Okay, explain natin dyan mamaya. Meron tayong um, parang summary, yung husband and wife. Okay, we will discuss it later. The descendant's gross estate will include 
both his exclusive properties and conjugal properties of his marriage. Okay, may, may i-discuss tayo dyan mamaya. Okay? Yan. Proceeds of life insurance are, ito naman yung, uh, ano natin, uh, I think tatlo, ABC, you know? ano yung mga proceeds of life insurance? Okay, conjugal or community property, if the money used to pay the premiums comes from conjugal. Ayan. So, kung yung ginamit daw dun sa life insurance na pang-contribute is conjugal money, okay, then part siya dun sa sa tiny space. Okay. Kasama yan sa gross estate. Okay. Exclusive property of the descendant. If the money used to pay, the premiums comes from descendant's exclusive properties. Okay. And also, I think lalabas to sa mga like uh, enumerate or multiple choices, no? Like, naka-enumerate yung ABC. Okay, tapos meron ad- another option na hindi kasama dito sa proceeds of life insurance. Yeah. So, number, uh, letter C, partly conjugal, okay? And partly exclusive property if the premiums, okay? So, ano daw yung mga exempt tra- transfers? So, meron din pala mga exempt. Mga hindi siya subject sa uh, estate tax. Ano mga yun? Transfer of properties not owned by the descendants. Siyempre, hindi kanya yung, ano, yung property. Siyempre, hindi, hindi, mo, hindi mo dapat i-tax. Okay? Merger of the use, use of rack. Okay? in the owner of a of the naked title pero para mga naked title ano sa taxation okay baka iba na imagine you guys ha okay disregard that okay? discard okay. merger of the use of rock in the owner of the naked title and meron tayo number two the transmission or delivery of the inheritance or legacy by fiduciary heir or legacy, yeah. shout out to Leganis, to the, how do you pronounce this, okay? Fide Commissary, <laughs> whatever, you know, yeah. transmission or delivery of inheritance, okay? Example, yung fiduciary heir, no? Transfer yung ano, di ba? Yung, tapos na, namatay na yung ano, yung descendant, no? The transfer mo. So, yung transmission or delivery example na incur doon na yung mga transportation na ganun so hindi yan kasama dito okay mga example yan na transfers okay number three transmission from the first heir like legacy or donee in favor of another beneficiary so mga transmission lang din yan transmission transmission from first heir to legacy or donor, yeah. Proceeds of irrevocable life insurance. Pag irrevocable, syempre, sabi natin sa task kanina, hindi siya, hindi siya kasama dun sa gross estate na taxable. Okay? Irrevocable kasi, you know? Life insurance policy. Irrevocable, meaning, nakadesignate na dun kung sino yung beneficiary. Tapos yung nakalagay kasi dun, other than estate, Okay, executor or administrator. Pag hindi ito yung uh, beneficiary doon sa life insurance, tapos irrevocable pa siya. Okay? So, exempt yung transfer. Yes? Properties held in trust. Yeah. Properties, I think yung, yeah, yung key term dito, held in trust. Yeah. Held in trust by the descendant. Parang, um, yung descendant, binigyan ng uh, property parang pinagamit kasi because it's uh, trust in between uh, that third party, okay? sa so, yung descendant. So, hindi naman talaga kanya yung property. So, held in trust lang siya. So, hindi siya kasama dun sa taxable estate. Okay? Separate properties of the surviving spouse. Okay? Siyempre, pag sinabing separate properties, sa spouse niya yun. 
hindi yung kasama sa disenya. Okay. Excuse me. Transfer by way of bona fide sales. Transfer by way of bona fide sales. So, hindi siya kasama dito. Okay? Exempt transfer siya. So, dinescuss natin sa taas kanina, di ba? Uh, fair market value. Tapos yung, yung consideration received. Yung excess non. Yun lang yung naging part ng gross estate. Okay? Naalala nyo pa, guys? Ayan. Transfer for insufficient consideration. Tapos pag fictitious naman, sabi kasi dito, pag fictitious, yung total value ng property, hindi naman talaga na benta, hindi talaga na transfer. So, kay disedent pa rin yun. No? So, pag bonafide sale, bonafide sale, meaning na benta na yun. Okay? So, hindi na siya kasama dito sa, I mean, uh, nagiging exempt na siya na transfer. Okay? And number one, para mas malinaw, no? Itong mga exempt transfers. Okay? Number one, merger of the use of rock in the owner of the naked title. So, we have here, uh, simple illustration lang. Okay. Si Mr. A namatay noong June 2011. Sa so, will niya nakalagay, okay, ano yung agricultural land daw, Okay? He devised an agricultural land to be who shall use the, the property over 10 years. Ayan, nakaspecify talaga, no? Kung ilang years niya pwedeng gamitin. And thereafter, 2Q. So, after 10 years, ililipat naman kay Q. Okay, una kay B. Sunod kay Q. Okay, subsequently namatay si B. Result resulting in the transmission of the property to I think this is not uh, Q, no? This is uh, C dapat to. Correct lang natin. Therefore, na-transmit doon kay C. Okay? Yan. Predecessor si A, okay? Siya yung namatay. In current descendant, and namatay din siya, no? Si B. Okay? by the power of usufruct, no? Na parang free of use, no? Usufruct ang tawag. Tapos, because yung death ng uh, current descendant, no? Si B, yung tawag dun kay C, is owner of naked title. Okay? Naked na title. Kasi, siguro, I think, naked because wala na yung predecessor sa yung current descendant. So, naging naked title na siya. The transfer of the device from B to C is referred to in law as the merger. Ay. Yan. Yung title lang natin. Merger of the use of rock of the owner of the naked title. Nag-merge. Okay? Nag-merge yung use of rock ni B. Okay? transfer siya kay C. So, yung tawag doon, merger. Okay? Of the use of rock in the owner of the naked title. So, owner yung naked title si C. So, merger siya. So, the transfer from the use of rock, quarry, okay, to the real owner. Yan, correct lang natin. To the real owner, C, upon the death of B, does not constitute the yanan. So, hindi pala siya uh, donation mortis causa. Okay? As it is mere return of the property to the real owner. Okay? Hence, it is exclu excluded from gross estate. Okay? Kung baga, parang sabi ni A, okay? Yung namatay siya, nakalagay sa will. Okay? Sige, B, uh, gamitin mo tong agricultural land, ha? Pero 10 years lang. After that, bigay mo na kay C. Kasi, si C naman talaga yung, kumbaga, I think parang, siguro example si C, uh, anak niya si C, no? Uh, five years old siya. Tapos yung namatay siya, batang bata pa, so nanticipate ni A na, uh, siguro after 10 years, okay na to si C, parang business na na to. So, 
estimate-nya 10 years lang yung gamit ni B. Sample si B friend niya. Okay? So, after 10 years. So, rightfully, si C talaga yung real. Yeah. I like yung real owner. And upon the death of B, does not constitute a donation Marcus Causa. Walang donation ng yan. Kasi, um, si C naman talaga yung owner. Hindi si B. Okay? Pinagamit lang. Okay? Note, yeah, note that the transfer from Mr. A, the predecessor okay, of the use of frac to B in the naked title to C involves transfer of ownership. So, transfer lang siya ng ownership. It is donation mortis causa of Mr. A subject to estate tax. So, So, yung mere return of property daw to the real owner is not included sa gross estate. Yung donation mortis causa doon is yung kay um, nung pagkamatay ni Mr. A. So, nung namatay si Mr. A, diba transfer niya kay BNC? Taxable doon actually yung pagkamatay pa lang ni A. Nung namatay si B, transfer niya kay C. Actually, ni return lang yung property diba ng matay si D okay owner na ng naked title si C so hindi na siya na tax na yun eh yung property diba so na tax na so yan hindi na siya included dun sa gross estate dito siya in sterling okay kuha ba guys yung illustration natin okay if nakuha niyo just type yes sir or anything you want Okay. 100% sir madali lang yung uh, illustration okay sige number 2 transmission or delivery of the inheritance or legacy by the fiduciary okay heir loving definition ano or legacy okay legacy or legacy to the fidei commissary okay para mas uh, malinaw no mas madali talaga mag-understand minsan pag may illustration tayo yan si Mr. A ulit ABC no si Mr. A namatay leaving an inheritance consisting of several real estates to his favorite grandson C from his favorite son D okay so madami siyang inheritance na binigay okay sa apo niya ay grandson C from his favorite son si B yung anak niya si B ay yung apo niya si C because C was a minor yan Mr A appointed B as fiduciary so yung Mr A siya yung nag-appoint nag-appoint <laughs> yan siya yung nag-appoint na fiduciary of the inheritance ngayon before transferring the property to C namatay si B, yung tatay, no? Yan, yung, kumbaga, yung anak ni A, may si B. Tapos yung apo niya si C, di ba? Ngayon, namatay si B. Which is, yung tawag dito sa problem natin, ano siya, fiduciary heir. No? Yung nangyayari dito kay C, tawag sa kanya, is fide commissary heir naman. The delivery, yan. Yung pag-transfer o pag deliver the inheritance from the de- death of B fiduciary heir to C, tawag doon today commissary, shall not be included in the gross estate of B because the transfer does not involve transfer of ownership from B to C. B is merely a trustee. Parang uh, daw sa sa ilonggo dogin tugyanan okay dogin tugyanan lang si B na uh, okay B uh, since ikaw ako ng uh, anak no while minor pa si C na ako ni apo ikaw na ako ng tugyanan okay ikaw ang ako ng trustee for this property hasta sa mature si apo okay sa so, paborito kong apo yan So, sabi ni B, okay, ngayon namatay si B. Okay? Yung pag-transfer, okay, transmission, pag-transmit, okay? pag-deliver ng inheritance from B, kasi namatay si B to C, is sabi dito, hindi siya kasama sa gross estate. 
Okay, because it's just a mere, uh, merely trans, trusty lang si uh, The delivery is a mere return of, yeah, it's just a mere return of the property to the real owner. Yeah. Dali lang, di ba? So, kanina number one, anong tawag dun sa air na yun? Yusufraktuari. Okay, si B, Yusufraktuari. Kasi yung real owner talaga dyan is si C, owner of naked title. Okay? Ngayon naman dito, fiduciary air yung tawag. Pag parang trusty ka lang. Parang trusty ka lang ng, ng tawag dito, ng inheritance, no? ng example si A, di ba? Pinasa niya kay, bibigay niya sana kay si Derek, di kaso minor pa siya. So, dumaan muna kay B as a trustee. So, tawag sa kanya, fiduciary heir. Okay? Fide commissary naman, yung tawag heir kay C. Okay? Ganyan lang. Okay, madali lang, ano? Okay. Number three, transmission. So, puro transmission to guys from one to three, no? Transition from the first heir, leg legacy, or donor in favor of another. So, ibang, may another person na naman, ibang uh, heir, in accordance with the desire of predecessor. Yeah. So, in this will, example naman, no? si A divides a piece of land to B as the first heir. So, kumbaga, walang trust B walang usufractuary na nangyari. Parang direct talaga. Okay, B. Ako si Mr. A. Okay, B. Papamana ko sa'yo itong uh, piece of land na to. And hereafter, to C as the second heir. Okay? B subsequently died trans transmitting the property to C. Namatay si B. Transfer yung property kay C in accordance with Mr. A's Will. So, will talaga ni Mr. A yun. So, nung namatay si B, transfer siya dun sa second heir. So, yung transfer from B to C, ito, from B, first heir to uh, second heir, no? Is referred to transfer under. Yan. So, naalala nyo guys, kanina meron tayong GPA. Yan. Ito yung sinasabi ko, SP. A. Special power of appointment. Okay? Special power of appointment. Yung tawag dun sa transfer. Okay? From uh, first heir, okay? To second heir. No? The same is not this donation, Mortis Causa. The transfer from B to C is merely an implementation of the transfer which was originally mandated by predecess predecessor A. Okay. The same rule applies even if yeah, if B were given the power solely or in conjunction with others to appoint the second heir to the property from a list drawn by drawn by predecessor A. In all previous illustration, assuming B transferred the property during his lifetime to C, the same shall not be subject to donor's tax because there is no gratuitous. Wala namang gratuitous nangyari. It's just part ng ano yung keyword dito? Okay? Implementation. In-implement lang yung gusto ni Mr. A which is siya yung predecessor. Okay? Clear ba guys? Okay, number three. Transmission from the first heir, legacy or donor, in favor of another or Example dito sa illustration, sa second heir, pinasa lang. Okay? So, hindi siya doon kasama sa gross estate. Okay? Ayan. So, kahapon, yung nagbabother sa atin during discussion is lang ako ngayon. Lamok naman. Okay? Sa inyo ba guys, madami lamok? <laughs> Medyo malamok dito, no? Anyway, let's continue. Okay? Proceeds of irrevocable as we discussed kanina. Pag life insurance policy, no? eh, uh, revocable lang yung kasama dun sa gross estate ngayon. Pag irrevocable, okay? Yan. So, hindi yan kasama, no? Life insurance policy payable to beneficiary other than the estate 
pag hindi estate yung beneficiary, hindi rin yung executor or administrator, the proceeds are no longer yeah, no longer owned by the descendant at the point of his death. Therefore, hindi siya kasama. May not be included. Siyempre, hindi naman sa'yo talaga yung proceeds na yun, di ba? So, ibang tao. Okay? So, hindi siya kasama dun sa gross estate. Okay? Properties held in trust. So, property held in trust, siyempre, hindi naman talaga sa'yo entitled properties held na sa'yo talaga nakasulat yung property na yun. So, hindi siya kasama dito. Okay? Sa taxable transfer. Okay? Mga exempto guys, ha? No? Okay. I think, yeah. May seven pa. Yeah. So, six. Number six. Separate properties of the surviving spouse of the descendant. So, yung key term dito, yung separate. So, separate siya ng property. So, kung ano lang yung property niya exclusive or part na ano, yun lang yung kasama rin sa gross estate. So, basahin natin yung theory behind it. Yung mag daw, may separate properties and common properties. Okay? May separate and meron ding common properties. Okay? Common properties are owned jointly. Okay? Jointly by the spouses while separate or exclusive properties are owned. Okay? Of course, solely owned by either uh, your wife or your husband. The separate or exclusive properties of the husband are referred to Husband's capital. Yeah. While the sa wife naman yung tawag dun, wife's parafernal. Yeah. Husband's capital yung exclusive niya. Yung sa wife naman yung tawag dun sa exclusive na property ng wife is yung wife's parafernal. Okay? The wife's parafer- parafernal shall not Siyempre, the wife na yun. So, hindi siya dapat kasali dito sa computation ng gross estate ng husband. Okay? Upon his death. Since this uh, will not form part, okay, of his donation, mortis causa. Hindi naman talaga eh. Di ba? Separate siya. Okay? Similarly, at the same time, same din yung treatment. Pag namatay yung, ano, yung wife, hindi rin kasama yung husband's capital. Kasi exclusive niya yung separate properties. Okay? The gross estate of the married descendant includes the separate. And take note ha, separate. So, hindi kasama din yung common properties. Okay? The gross estate of the married descendant includes the separate properties of the descendant and their common properties. Yeah. So, common properties with the surviving spouse kasama okay the gross estate of a married descendant yeah. includes okay correct me guys ha includes separate properties okay yung unique lang dito yung wife's example na matay yung husband yung wife's paraphernal or yung exclusive property ng wife hindi na kasama dun sa uh, gross estate yung common daw sabi dito common properties kasama sa gross estate kung namatay yung uh, husband. Okay? Okay. Transfer by way of bona fide sales. And bona fide meaning uh, valid sales, no? Or completed. Or ano pa other terms sa bona fide. Okay? Um, basta bona fide. Okay? <laughs> Transfers by way of bona fide sales are onerous. Okay. Onerous transactions rather than gratuitous. Kumbaga, there is an exchange na nangyari. Hindi siya... Kasi, di ba, donation, estate tax. Dapat, ano yun eh? Um, dapat may element of gratuitous. Parang binigay. Okay. Pero pag bona fide sales, binenta. So, hindi, hindi siya kasama dito. Hence, they are not subject to estate tax. Moreover, ownership of over properties sold normally passes on the buyer immediately at the point of sale. Okay. For example, yung descendant, yung house and lot, binenta niya. 
Tapos completed sale. Ayan, other term for bona fide sales, no completed sales. So yung house and lot nalipat na dun sa buyer. Hindi na kasama yun sa gross estate kasi bona fide sale siya. Okay? So other than the seven na diniscuss natin kanina, okay? Meron pang exemption sa estate tax. Okay? Meron pang exemption sa estate tax. Ano mga 'yon? Okay? Letter A, all bequest Bequest devices, legacies, transfer to social welfare, cultural, charitable institutions, no part of the income of which endures to the benefit of any individual. Ito daw yung mga uh, exemption sa estate tax. So, hindi siya subject. Provided, again, highlight na yung provided. However, that not more than 30%. Of the said bequest, devices, legacies, or transfers shall be used by such institutions for administration purposes. Okay? Proceeds of life insurance okay? received by members of, sabi natin kanina, di ba? GSIS, SSS, hindi siya kasama dito. Exempted siya. Exempt transfer. Okay? Exempt from estate tax. Benefits received by, ayan, yung SSS natin, no? By reason of death. So, any benefit doon, hindi siya subject to uh, estate tax. Okay? Yan lang siya. Letter A, tandaan natin yung 30% the said bequest shall be used by such institution for administration purposes. Pag-administer ng Um, example, yung inheritance, yung estate, taxation, no? administration, tawag doon. Proceeds of life insurance, GSIS, tanda natin, and SSS. So, hindi siya kasama. Exempted siya from estate tax. Other than doon sa 7 na diniscuss natin. Okay. What else? Yan. Dami pala, no? Hanggang letter H. Sige. Second part is letter D. Amounts received from Philippine and um, Unites, United to siguro, no? United States governments for war damages. So, and uh, specific, specify talaga siya sa Republic Act. No? Amounts received from the Philippine and United States governments for um War damages, okay? Unites to siguro. Amounts received from United States Veterans Administration, ayan, RA 360, okay? Retirement benefits of employees of private firms from pi- private pension plans approved. Ayan. Tandaan natin, dapat approved siya by the DIR. Okay. So, and to the last, the intangible property. Okay. So, letter G. Intangible property, personal property located in the Philippines for NRA. Okay. Sabi natin kanina, di ba, may table tayo din sa taas. Pag NRA, pag intangible uh, personal property, tapos may reciprocity siya, okay. exempted din yan sa estate tax. Okay. Ayan. Pera, okay? Naalala nyo yung, yung pera? <laughs> okay? Yan yung pinaka-dumb, ano, yung pinaka-corny na joke na huwag yung isi-share sa iba, guys. Kasi lalangawin talaga. <laughs> okay. Uh, gas-gas na yung mga ganyan. Yun, eh. So, yun sa akin mga jokes ko, mga gas-gas na din. So, huwag nyo nang pansin yun, Okay? Manood na lang kayo ng, ano, ng Kong TV. Ayan. Shoutout sa mga fanatics ni Kong, no? Tsaka mga kapatid ni Kong. <laughs> Personal equity retirement account assets shall not be considered assets of the contributor for purposes of estate tax. Also, in qualified para distributions received by the contributor or in the case of the debt of the contributor, 
contributor na contribute na no? received by his heirs or beneficiaries ayan whether in a lump sum okay shall not be subject to state tax okay lumalabas to sa mga ano true or false so nakalagay doon is shall be subject no? so yung true doon is uh, shall not be subject okay Bank deposits, yeah, withdrawn from the descendant account during the settlement of the state. Settlement meaning, um, may mga bank deposits, no? Example, may mga utang mm, na matay yung descendant. So, withdraw, we withdraw him yun para pang bayad doon sa uh, mga kautangan, no? Mga existing obligations. So, hindi siya kasama dito sa, um, estate tax. Okay? Yan. Lapit na guys. Konting kembot na lang. Yan. Hindi muna tayo ng ano. Tubig. Mm. So good. Okay. Before we proceed. Kamusta guys yung ano, preparation natin sa finals? Or I heard ano, sobrang busy na kayo sa ibang subjects. That's why yung tax ano natin 42 very parang list priority niyo na lang. Ito ba yun, guys? Pero okay lang, guys. At least, uh, naging part ako ng, ano, ng journey. Okay? Kahit ako na yung pinaka-last doon na priority. Okay lang. Okay, at least na impart ko sa inyo. Ano. Charot lang. <laughs> okay. Okay lang, guys. Kahit hindi tayo priority. No? Importante. At the end of the day, love mo pa rin yung tax. Yan, no? Diba sa, during sa CPA board exam nyo, no? Um, try to have this, ano lang, mga basic principles para kahit anong ikot ng questions. Minsan, certain questions sa exam wala dun sa ano, lecture. So, syempre, yung mga examiner maghanap yung mga uh, tricky question, no? Mga complicated. But, for me, no? Yung mga major, ano natin, topics, pag na-master mo to, well, well and good ka na sa tax. Okay? So, CPA board. Yeah. Okay, guys? Go lang. Laban lang. Don't give up. Okay? Hindi nga, hindi nga ako nag-give up sa inyo, di ba? How much more kayo? Okay. So, guys, uh, uh, again, saludo ako sa inyo. Um, sinasamahan niyo ako until 3 a.m. Ano? Buhay pa rin kayo. Okay? Nag-susunog uh, pa rin ng kilay no? sa um, IT subject nyo, sa integrated accounting nyo, no? You can do it. Okay? I trust, I believe in you. You can do it. Ako nga, nakaya ko, di ba? Okay? Ano lang, pa... Hindi siya pa unahan. Okay? Hindi naman siya pa bilisan. Okay? Kung hindi mo man ma-absorb yung lecture natin tonight, okay lang. Pakinggan mo ulit yung video natin. Or, basahin mo ulit yung mga hindi mo maintindihan sa lecture. Okay? Yeah. Itong valuation, just go over nyo lang guys. Yung property and valuation. Ayan. You can screenshot, ano? If wala kang book. Itong valuation na ito, importante siya. Pag tinatanong, kung example, itong property, Ano yung tamang valuation? Ano yung tamang uh, value niya? Okay? Value shall be based. Ayan. So, naka-specify siya. No? Fair market value, FMV. Okay? Meaning ng FMV, uh, fair market value. Ayan. So, just go over it. Okay? It's uh, parang no-brainer yan. Na madaling i-understand. Okay? Pag stocks, ayan. For common shares, book value, at the time of death. So, sa mga multiple choice, mga true or, or false, nakalagay dito. Example 4, common shares, nakalagay dito. Uh, fair market value. So, mali na agad. Kasi book value. Okay, guys? Okay. Madali lang yan yung valuation of gross estate. Paano binavalue? Paano minimeasure? Okay? Different types of properties yan, have different valuation. Okay, hindi lang isa. Hindi lang puro F&B. Okay? Pero technically, di ba? Pag real property, F&B. 
Yan. Pag personal property, FNB. Okay? Pag notes, accounts receivable, FNB rin siya. And units of participation in association, mga clubs. So, FNB rin siya. No? So, the rest, ayan, may nakalagay basic standard mort- mortality. Ayan, table approved by DOF. Department of Finance. Ayan. Yan lang yun. Okay. Ito, let's go sa last part ng presentation natin. Okay? Dito napapasok yung sa mga mag-asawa. Okay? Paano, paano nagko-compute ng uh, gross estate? Or paano kinokompute yung estate tax sa mag-asawa? Okay. Properties of spouses. The extent of the gross estate of the descendant shall depend upon the property relations between the descendant and his or her spouse, excuse me. Sabi natin kanina, di ba, uh, specific share or exclusive property ng example ng husband na matay. And yung common properties, yan yung um, yung part ng gross estate. Tama? So, na-discuss na- natin before. Ngayon, yung property regimes, okay, property regimes, okay? again, another lamok, Okay. Gusto rin yung maten ng class natin. Tax, ng tax part ito. Okay. Ayan. ACP, CPG, and separato, uh, separation of property. Okay. Ano yung ACP? Absolute community of property. Ano yung CPG? Conjugal partnership of gains. Ayan. Separation of property number 3. Okay. Sige. Let's discuss. Ano yung uh, AC, ACP? Ayan. Pero nauna na tayo sa uh, CPG. Ano? Sige. Yung mag-asawa daw may in a prenuptial. Okay? Prenuptial meaning before sila kinasal or marriage uh, settlement, agree upon the regime that shall govern their property relations. Ayan. Uh, example sa mga mayayamang family, ano? Like, uh, yeah, naalala nyo, di ba, yung kay Chris Aquino, kila James, James Yap, di ba? Meron kasing uh, nag-asawa na wala silang prenuptial agreement. Dahil sa sobrang love niya, di ba? Uh, love kita, so wala nang agree agreement. Diretso na tayo, asawa. <laughs> okay? Pero naman sa mayayamang family, na rin silang, ano, before sila ikasal, merong agreement na o oh, sige, uh, payag akong magpakasal sa'yo, pero yung property ko, akin lang. Yung property mo, sa'yo lang. Kasi parang, siguro sa business uh, perspective, maganda yon in case na mag-separate kayo. So parang, how ironic, ano, parang, uh, sa ibang perspective, okay? I'm not saying it's a uh, exclusive no opinion it's just my opinion na nag enter sila into into agreement na parang inexpect nila in the future baka magbreak din sila no? mag separate so pinoprotect nila yung individual nilang uh, mga properties ayan so itong lamok papansin so hashtag #lamok guys no yung topic natin <laughs> how to kill mosquitoes ayan Buti pa yung mustikitos marunong mag-icebreaker. Okay? Okay lang yun, guys. <laughs> At least, meron, meron mga bloopers yung recording natin. Okay? Again, wala tong jump cuts. Walang cut sa ano natin. Recording, direct sa tayo upload. Okay? Okay. So, sige. However, in the absence of marriage settlement, okay, pag wala daw agreement, in the property relations shall be governed by Ayan. CPG or Community of Property or rather Conjugal pa- Partnership of Gains. Okay? For those married before, ayan. remember the date, guys? Guys, ha? Yung date natin, August 3, And ACP naman, Absolute Community of Property on or after that date, August 3, 1988. Okay. 
So ano sir yung ano ACP, ano yung AC? Ay ano yung CPG? Okay? Sige. Punta muna tayo kay uh, CPG. Yeah. Parang nawala yung ano. Yan. May ano yan eh, may arrow kanina eh. Wait lang. Hanapin natin yung arrow. Like this oh. Parang ganito siya. Merong arrow. Conjugal. Ayan. Bumalik siya. Okay. Ano yung CPG? Or Conjugal Partnership of Gains. Okay. CPG, Conjugal Partnership of Gains. Ayan. So, itong column na to, yung left na part, sa husband yan. Ito naman sa wife. Okay? Itong sa baba, Conjugal. Common. Okay? Yung box na to. Okay? Exclusive. Ayan. So, same din siya sa ACP. So, ito may unless lang. Okay? Let's discuss. Ano yung conjugal? Um, property or partnership of gains. So, sa husband. Okay? Same sila, di ba? Sa ka sa wife. No? Property owned before marriage. Dito sa wife, property owned before marriage. Dito naman, gratuitous. Tama? Same lang. Gratuitous title. Ito pangalawa. Ito pangatlo. Property acquired with the exclusive money of the husband. Okay? Dito sa kabila, exclusive money of the wife. Okay? Same lang. Okay? Ano yung conjugal properties? Ito yung mga example. Properties acquired by onerous title using the common. Yan. Common fund ni kinumbay nila yung uh, sa husband and wife na fund. So, yung mga properties na ginamit doon na na, na bilhin ng mag-asawa gamit yung common na fund, nagiging conjugal properties yun under the um, CPG, Conjugal Partnership of Gains. Okay? Properties obtained from the labor or work of the spouses during marriage. So, yung sweldo daw, o yung income, o yung um, properties na na-obtain during sa marriage nila. Conjugal niya. Okay? Tandaan niyo yung key term, ha? Property, we're gratitus, yan, donation, yan, mga exclusive, no? Yan yung tatandaan natin, 1, 2, 3, 4. Saka dito sa, bab sa baba. Naka-state talaga siya, no? Number 3, Properties acquired by chance such as winning from gambling. Ayan, mga hilig mga magsugal. Now, however, losses therefrom shall be born exclusive by use. <laughs> sa gain, grabe ano. Dito sa conjugal properties, pag gain daw, share kayo. Okay, kaya sinabing conjugal partnership of gain. Hindi siya sinabing conjugal pa partnership of gain or loss. Okay? Pag loss. Okay? Exclusive siya. So, yung wife may limang sugal, tapos may losses siya. Kanya yun. Okay? Sa husband, same din. Okay? Exclusive yung mga losses. Okay? I think, yan lang yung ano, very unique dito. And loser spouse. Sa ACP naman, okay, what's ACP again? Absolute community of property. Absolute community of property. Okay, guys, don't worry. Worry, no? This is uh, our last uh, slide. Okay? Ano yung ACP? Okay? Yung unique dito, okay? Yung number one, nakalagay dito may condition siya. Okay? Kabilaan, okay? May unless. Okay? Ayan. Do double click siya sa text. Highlight lang natin para... Ayan. And then, may number 5. Tama? Dito sa taas, property designated. Ano ba yung nadagdag? Okay? Ano yung nadagdag dito? Yung fruits. Doon sa CPG, yung fruits conjugal. Highlight ko ha. Conjugal. Part siya ng conjugal property. Pag uh, conjugal partnership of gains, CPG. Okay, yung CPG, 
for those married before August 3, 1988. Onwards, yan is yung ACP. Okay? Yan. Under sa CPG, yung fruits and income of conjugal properties. Exclusive properties. Part siya ng conjugal properties. Pero under ACP, yan. Ano ulit yung ACP? Ulit ulitin natin para mas sa ulo natin. Ano? ACP, Absolute Community of Property. Okay. Property acquired during marriage by gratuitous title. Okay, by inheritance. Unless the donor or testator expressly provides that the property shall form part of the community property. Okay, may condition siya. Except daw yung donor, naglagay talaga dun sa um, donation rule niya na, ay, ano yan? Uh, community, kumbaga common property niya yan. So, hindi pwedeng uh, exclusive. Okay? Pero in general, in general, exclusive property siya. Kung si kanino dinonate. Okay? May exemption lang siya, nagiging conjugal siya. Okay? Pag hindi ito na met. Okay? Fruits and income. Siyempre, exclusive. Okay? Dito sa taas, hindi part yung fruits and income dito siya sa conjugal properties. Yan. Dito sa ACP, kasama na siya dito sa exclusive. Okay? Dito kasi, yan. Kahit exclusive siya na fruits and income, part siya ng conjugal. Ngayon, pagdating sa ACP, separate na siya. Yung exclusive, ha? Siyempre, yung conjugal properties, of course, it's a no-brainer. Conjugal talaga yun. Okay? You got it ba, guys? At ito yung... Yeah. So, supposed to be number 5 lang yung highlight ko na red. Okay, balik na. Ayan. So, dito, lumipat na sa ACP. Part na siya ng the red letters na lang natin. Ayan. Part siya ng exclusive property ng husband. Part din siya ng exclusive property ng wife. Okay. I think yan lang yung nadagdag dito. Okay. Highlight ko rin yung fruits and income of exclusive properties. Ayan. So, 1, 2, 3 na lang. May 1. Excuse me. Except doon sa properties by chance on winning. So, hindi siya kasama dito sa A, C, E. Okay? Yan lang yung kinaiba ng ACP tsaka yung uh, CPG. Okay? ACP, Absolute Community of Property. Yung CPG naman, Conjugal Property of Gains. So, guys, yung trick dyan, um, Hindi lang sa memorize mo, no? Just be, ano yung difference nila? Yung highlight natin. Yun lang yung tatandaan mo. Okay? Paano mag-differentiate? Okay? ACP and CPG. Okay? So, madaling siyang aralin. Ah, yan lang pala yung kinaga- pinagkaiba nila. No? Okay? So, I think that's it for our uh, modules 14 and 15 and we're done. Again, our reference for this uh, discussion, uh, Mr. Bangawan Business and Transfer Taxation 2019. So we are currently discussing what? Gross estate. So guys, uh, probably yung nasa mind nyo. Um, sir, ano yung coverage yung final exam natin? So we're done na no, sa discussion natin. So I think we will uh, habulin natin uh, yeah, donor stocks natin. Ano? We give up yung uh, headlight natin. Ano? Medyo nalobat na siya sa tagal ng dis- the discussion natin, guys. Okay lang. So we're done discussing, discussing about gross estate. And thank you so much for your time. And hopefully if you have uh, questions, uh, feel free to comment below or to message me. Okay? We will continue to uh, discuss more no, sa mga practical uh, problems natin about this uh, topic. So, kumbaga para may 
may next ano pa discussion about gross uh, estate natin some ano lang mga minor exercises so, okay guys I think that's it it's uh, 2.54 a.m. in the morning and I had actually a good uh, rest last uh, a while ago no? nakatulong tayo so we have uh, lots of energy pa although medyo may <coughs> namabalat na yung ano natin uh, bosses but Guys, thank you so much for your time and yeah, I, I wish all the best and um, please uh, no, uh, rest assured na and uh, I will pray for you, okay? I'm praying for you na um, you will be successful, okay? You will uh, surpass this uh, college uh, program in CPU and I know guys, you're the best, okay? The best class ever. So thank you, thank you so much for supporting me or supporting each other okay we can do this together and i believe that at the end of the day it's kumbaga, god is helping us together to uh, get through this uh, kumbaga, uh, seasons of life natin you know, may, merong ups and downs tayo. Uh, even i no um, as a cpa trying to learn some new things but um, I'm always looking forward to what God will do in our lives, even in my personal life, that we'll continue to have that mindset that God has the best plan for us, okay? So I challenge you if, uh, yeah, uh, get to know God more, okay? Get to know His Word, okay? Read His Word, okay? Uh, I know God will reveal His heart um, sa atin lahat, okay? God loves you and merong plano ang Panginoon while uh, you're here, okay? And there is a purpose, okay? Did you ask yourself, minsan, Lord, ano ang purpose ko sa, sa life ko? Why, why in this generation ako na ipanganak, okay? I believe there is a specific purpose bakit uh, nandito pa right now. And even this class, you know, I believe there is a specific purpose bakit ako naging, naging teacher mo or bakit naging student ko, ko kayo. Ano? So, guys, I'm so thankful from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And, you know, I love you. And I will exert more effort, okay? Uh, in this uh, last week, no? ano na lang tayo after this session, I think uh, three sessions na lang tayo and we will end this uh, subject. But, yeah, I'm always here for you guys. I love you. Thank you. Okay. Hindi ko man kayo na met uh, in person. But hopefully, I'm so excited to meet you guys. Okay? I think that's it, no? It's a different vibe. But, uh, of course, 3 a.m. in the morning. It's a different vibe. But also, we don't stop uh, learning. Okay, guys? So, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, again, this is Elvi and saying good night. Um, siguro, good morning sa iba, bang busy. So, yeah. Love you guys. Bye-bye.